Auckland Harrow Lodge Primary School. My name is Lynette Searle and I'm the head teacher of the school and very proud to be so. This is an unprecedented time in our history where we find our doors closed to children and visitors alike. And so as you can't come to see us in person, I thought I'd give you a virtual tour of the school instead. But before we head off on our tour, there are a few things you need to know about us as a school. Firstly, we're a kind and caring school that puts families at the centre of our education system. We believe that a successful education depends heavily on a close relationship between school, parents and child, and that each party must do their part well if a child is to reach their full potential every step of the way. We have five core values that form the bedrock of our community and to which we expect every single person to adhere. Children, staff, parents, governors and visitors. These values are respect, empathy, aspiration, confidence and honesty. And we believe that living by these values leads to success and achievement. Our teachers and support staff are amongst the most committed and dedicated staff I've ever had the pleasure to work with. And the school itself is on a rapid journey to excellence in the world of education. Have a look on the new parent page on our website to see our three year trend of improving results. Visit Parent View to see what our current parents think about the job that we're doing. And come with me now to see the fabric of the school and hear our plans for the future. Well, here we are at the school and about to walk in. Welcome. And as we come in, you can see our core values along the fence to remind us as soon as we come in what we stand for. This is our main school entrance. And I'm going to take you in. There's our lovely trophy cabinet with all our awards in. You'll be greeted when you come in by our reception staff here. And this is our school prayer, which <clears throat> you can see is all about filling our school with joy and love every day. These are the stairs that go up to year five and six, and we have our core values on the wall, again to remind the children of what we live by. And I'm going to walk you down this way now. That's our, those are all our staff. And this is showing we have a really, really excellent performing arts club. And every year, Miss Harrison puts on some fantastic shows. This year it was The Lion King. And we put them on at the local secondary school where they have a really big stage. So we're coming into year three and four corridor here. We've recently had everything repainted um, and it's, we haven't really had time to put up all the new displays, etc. but you can see we're just getting there. Here we have key stage two hall. We have three halls, we're very lucky. This hall, each hall has a interactive whiteboard and I'm going to walk you down the corridor it's one of the year three classrooms that you can see mm, very lonely without children now we're coming into the year four area and they've been studying the Tudors, as you can see. We've written some potion poetry. And this is the, these are the West Stairs that go up to the year five and six areas. 
and this is the corridor that leads up to the dining hall. Okay, so I'm going down the corridor now. I'm going to take you into our food tech room. This is where the children come each week to do, or each half term, to do their cookery. And we have a cookery club that takes place after school as well, which is very well attended, and they make fantastic scrumptious things. We have enough computers in here for a whole class to come in and have a lesson. We also have some laptops, some learn pads, iPads, tablets for children to use as well. Now we're moving into the infant side. And we come to the entrance to the infant side of the school. And here we have our homework projects display and we have our worry corner. And in our worry corner, this is where children can come and they can place any worries that they have in the worry box. This is something our student counsellors set up. And there are some year five and six peer mentors who help the children deal with any of their worries or they pass them on to the staff if uh, they feel that they can't handle the worries that they're more importantly, more important to be handled by a teacher. And now we're heading into the infant side of the school and we walk down the corridors and on our left are the year two classrooms. As we come round the corner, this is the infant library also used as a cloakroom for the infants. And then we come further along here. Year one classroom. This is the infant hall. All the curtains are shut at the moment. Nobody's using it. And then we come down to the reception classrooms. So these are the reception classrooms. And I'm going to hand you over to Miss Goodwin to show you around here. <laughs> 